Happy May, everybody. It is Dale here with the Santa Sells Houses team for another issue of the Monday Market Update. Today is Monday, May 2nd. I'm going to flip the camera around here for a second, show you where I am. So I'm downtown London at the Forks of the Thames. So we've got the, uh, the south branch of the, the Thames River here. We've got the north branch of the Thames River here, which goes over to Western University, up to Hiberian Kaleli, and then they flow into this area in the middle, the Forks of the Thames, and head west towards uh, Springbank Park from here. Beautiful area. It's like uh, country in the city. All right, let's get into some numbers of what has happened in the past week. So in the last seven days in London, we saw 315 new listings hit the system. We have 17 conditional sales and 171 sold. What I find interesting other than these though, is that uh, we had 40, oops, oh, my camera's doing things on its own here. We had 40 price drops, we had 31 price increases, and we had 88 listing cancellations. Uh, a lot of which would have been uh, relisted and either price increase or price decrease. So we're, we've been seeing that for about a month now where uh, listings are getting to offer date and maybe not achieving the number of offers to drive it up to what they think market price is, or they're getting no offers at all sometimes. So they're uh, canceling and, and relisting at either a higher or lower price point to, uh, to achieve what their goals are of, of what they think market value is. So what we've also seen too is in December, we had 0.2 months of inventory, meaning if no new listings came to market, they would be gone in 0.2 of a month. Uh, right now, so in the last four months, we've seen, seen it increase end of April, we're at 1.2 months of inventory, which is still in all reality, it's still fairly low. However, it's a big increase. Like the, the graph hit, it was going like this, end of last year, January, it hit a low point, or sorry, December, and then January started climbing a bit, and now it's on a skyrocket right now. So a lot of new listings hitting the system the last three, four weeks here in London. What we also saw too was that uh, median prices in the city, they peaked in February at 778,000. And as of April, they're at 701,000. So they've actually dropped about 77,000. Now our, our uh, L-Star will be releasing our monthly stats in the next couple of days. So that will give us a better overall picture of what is happening in the area. I, I was running some stats on the weekend uh, of certain neighborhoods and those prices seem to just be plateauing um, and not dropping. However, there's also triple the amount of inventory in that in some of those neighborhoods that there were just a few months ago. So it's giving sellers more competition. It's giving buyers more options to look at, which is why they're, it's spreading the buyers around even more, uh, giving them more choices. And that's also why we're seeing some homes, some listings are getting multiple offers still, and others are sitting a little bit longer, taking two or three weeks to sell sometimes before they achieve the, uh, the market price that they're looking for. Anyway, that's all I've got at the moment. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions. We'd be happy to send you uh, more information on, on those stats or graphs if, uh, if that's your preference. And uh, yeah, reach out if there's anything we can help you with with buying, selling, or investing in real estate. Have a great week.